Today, the Editors' Union, journalistic organizations, and human rights defenders met at the IRFS Press Center to discuss the arrest of the editor-in-chief of Kural newspaper, Avaz Zainal. During the discussion, those present made it clear they believe that Zainal's arrest is politically motivated. The court proceedings regarding Zainal and MP Gurar Ahmadova's phone conversations indicate that the journalist's arrest is politically motivated, said Kural employee Nuraddin Koja. Lawyer Elchin Sadegov said that there are no grounds for sentencing the editor to pretrial detention or for launching a criminal case. The October 19th complaint filed by MP Gurar Ahmadova to the anti-corruption office was taken as a basis for the criminal charge. Gurar Ahmadova has attached a video file to the appeal which allegedly contains her phone conversation with Zainala. However, an expert report says that Zainala's voice cannot be identified. Moreover, any illegally recorded video or audio material cannot be considered as an evidence for the investigation. According to the lawyer, the searches carried out at Zainala's house, car, and newspaper office were all illegal. We have filed an appeal against Trump of charges against Avaz Zainala and against the violations of police protocol, he said. During the search, my sick father was at home. The people who were searching the house made us leave our home. They asked me where we had hidden the gold and weapons. I guess they have confused journalists with corruptionists, said Malahad Zainal, wife of the arrested editor-in-chief. Today's discussions revealed that starting in August, Gilad Ahmadova called various people, asking them to urge Ava Zainal to answer her calls. She repeatedly called me over a period of eight days, requesting me to urge the journalist answer her phone calls. After that, he answered Ahmadova's phone call, said Rauf Arifoglu, editor-in-chief of Yenem Musavad newspaper. It was also revealed that Gilad Ahmadova had twice called Nuruddin Koja with the same request. When I was with Zainala, Gilad Ahmadova sent me an SMS requesting to urge journalists to answer the phone call, said Elbrus Arud head of Kafka's Info News Agency. Director of Tehran Information Agency Mehman Aliyev called upon his colleagues to pay strict attention to the investigations and facts. Editors, human rights defenders, and journalistic organizations reached an agreement to work together to defend Avaz Zainali's rights. During the discussions, Quran newspaper employees were asked to make a list of all the phone calls, lawsuits, and pressures against Avaz Zainali and submitted to the editor's union.